Okay guys, hey, it's Kwango. Today, well for you guys, it's Tuesday. It's probably like, already like midnight, so it's already Wednesday. It's Wednesday here. Um, I just watched Finding Carter, and it was a pretty good episode. It wasn't as what I expected it to be. Yeah, the episode was like, alright. I wasn't like, like, oh my gosh, shocked, but... It was a pretty good episode, I guess. Let's go over some key points. This um, is Finding Carter with Guango. There you go, there you stand. Gabe's plan to kind of like impress Carter is to kind of find her mom. So Gabe, Ophi, and Bird uh, go through background checks and Look at the list that Gabe's dad found of like connection to Lori Stevens. So they do a background check and try to find any information just to track down Carter's mom. Carter uh, meets a cutie named Crash and he's a drug dealer that Ophi is working for. He's been selling mollies and it's the same molly that Carter took ended up having her, you know, a seizure and everything. But Carter likes a bad boy so she obviously is going to have a little bit interest into Crash just to piss off Elizabeth. Elizabeth wants to go on a little bit of, you know, some terms with Carter and she's saying how she should have her curfew, which is 10 o'clock. So Carter comes home at 10 o'clock, but then she brings all her friends over and they're having like a mini party. And Elizabeth is like freaking out and she doesn't know how to control Carter because she's Carter's kind of going a little bit overboard and Carter kisses Crash just to piss off Elizabeth and it actually worked. Elizabeth has a new plan and she wants to try to get Max back together with Carter but it obviously will not work out since we have a little bit of you know sparkle sparkle between Taylor and Max especially when they're making their croutons. Croutons. Max, I kind of like Max. I kind of felt bad when, like, he, when Elizabeth tried to, you know, pretend to kick him out just to piss off Carter, which actually worked, and blah, 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 blah. But still, um, Elizabeth is kind of like on good terms with Max. Max is like in between. He's not on anyone's side, he just goes with the flow. And um, I think it's pretty working out with him. Uh, David, Carter's dad, I don't know how to feel about him. Like, I like him, but I don't. Because it's jacked up how Carter said not to write the book, but he's writing it just to pay off, you know, the pill. The, I said pills. I meant to pay off the bills and all the debt that he's in. And I kind of get it, but it's like, if you told Carter like the truth about that and ask her again nicely if he can write the book. I think Carter would totally understand f rather than from a point of view where like she finds out that he wrote the book. Gabe. I love Gabe. Not that only he's cute but I feel like he's good for Carter. Um, he's trying really hard just to get her attention and just try to be with her. Obviously he has really strong feelings for her. Um, I don't know if he's ever going to give up. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Carter might even like push it too much and like even actually ruin it. Carter and Gabe find another like another lead to Carter's mom and it's Catherine what was it? Catherine Peters, I think. And they look at the address and it's kind of new. So they go and check it out. To see what's going on and to see if her mom's there so they end up going and they didn't find her mom but the guy that was there said oh yeah she left but she he she said that she was gonna go back to her daughter so Carter knows that her mom is still looking for her and that she still wants her Carter's plan with the whole bad board crash obviously did not work out she started freaking out because the police were totally after them because crash a stole a car, B didn't even tell her, and C is just a total sociopath, by the way, and that she totally pushed it this time. And she calls David and you know they have that whole daughter and like father like thing again and 
that was towards the end of the episode where, you know, she hugs him and calls him dad and everything. And that was so sweet. But then at the same time, her mom, Lori Stevens, was watching the whole time. So, I don't know. This episode was okay. It was more of a, a little bit a chillax episode from all the drama from episode 1 and 2. But I feel like a lot is going to happen in the next episode. So I really cannot wait for that. Let's hope next week's episode is good and that my video is even better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna turn it upside down. We are gonna come to